welcome to your second video on body language. So now you know what your puppies look like when they are in a relaxed state. Today we're going to go over what we should be looking for when our puppies are stressed. So every puppy at some point is going to show some fear type related behaviours and where they are potentially stressed in a situation. And some of these behaviours may be more subtle in some puppies than others. Now, if we don't listen to our puppies early on, the consequence of that is that they are going to likely start to escalate their response. So their fear related behaviours may go from more defensive behaviours, so them trying to move away from the situation, to more offensive type behaviours such as aggression, because actually if their behaviours in the past haven't worked to get them distanced from what they're scared of, then they're going to escalate that response to something that might actually work for them to get the space that they need. So on these three diagrams here, this is a dog that is showing defensive behaviours. So the dog is unsure in the situation and they are trying to gain distance from what is happening. So if you ever see these behaviours occur, you need to make sure that you try and gain distance from whatever your puppy is worried about. So on the first diagram, you can see here the dog is standing, but the body posture and head position is low. The tail is tucked under, the ears are back and the dog is yawning. This is a displacement behaviour which we will discuss shortly. The eyes here are also squinty, which can be a sign of appeasement. So this is the dog avoiding conflict. Diagram two shows the dog laying down, but they are avoiding eye contact by diverting their gaze and turning their head away from you. As you can see here, the dog is also lip licking and the ears are back, which is a sign that the dog is also unsure. You can also see here a whale eye, which is where you can see more of the white of the eyes of the dog. This is also seen a lot in resource guarding behaviours when the dog orients their body towards the object that they want to keep but directs their vision to the perceived threat which is usually the person trying to take the item away from the dog and in this situation we should not be doing that and giving the dog space. Diagram 3 shows the dog sitting with the head lowered but the ears are back, the tail is tucked away and the dog is not making eye contact and raising the front paw. The lips are horizontal and slightly pulled back and with the mouth closed, which is an indicator that the dog is tense. These three diagrams are when your dog has gone to more offensive type behaviours. So this is aggression, however the motive is still the same as the previous three diagrams. So the dog is still fearful, but the behaviours before didn't work. So now what's happening is the dog is starting to escalate their response. Diagram one shows the dog standing with a stiffened body posture. The weight is forward, the ears are up, the hair is raised on the back of the dog, which is known as the hackles, and the eyes are looking towards what the dog is threatened by. You'll also notice the tail is up and stiff and there's a wrinkled nose. The pupils are dilated, which is a sign of arousal and stress. Do bear in mind that dilated pupils are not always a response to fear. Some dogs that are excited can also show dilated pupils. However, if you're seeing all of these body language positions that you're seeing on this diagram now, your dog is absolutely worried in that situation. On diagram two, the dog is laying down and cowering. The ears are flat, but the teeth are showing and the tail is between the legs. This is a dog that is saying, please give me space. Diagram three, the dog is standing with the body down and the weight towards the back. The head is tilted upwards, the mouth is tight and the lips are drawn back. And you can also see the teeth exposed here. The eyes are staring, the ears are back and the dog is snarling in this situation. The last six diagrams that I've just showed you is a dog that is worried. As you can see here, I've got an example of what I call the ladder of aggression. So if you notice here, all of these behaviours on the ladder of aggression are what I have just explained on the previous photos. But what I wanted to discuss was how the dog can escalate their response. So notice at the bottom, you've got behaviours at the green end where the dog is saying, I need space. If we don't listen to those behaviours, the dog is going to go up that ladder to the yellow end. And if we continue to ignore those behaviours, they will escalate to the red end. 
Once we're at the red end, this is where we have a dog that is now being offensively aggressive and they will resort to these behaviours in those situations much more often. So it's our job to learn when our puppy is worried so that we can keep our puppy at the green end on the ladder of aggression and take our puppy away from that situation. If you do see some of these signs and you are worried, please contact me. But what we need to look at doing is making our puppy feel happy about whatever they are worried by. Many puppies will show some low level signs such as lip licking or turning away, as particularly when they're learning about the world and they're a little bit worried in situations. But if you guys can learn when your puppy is worried, you can absolutely help them out in these situations by keeping them at a distance that they can cope with. Placement behaviours are behaviours that occur out of context. In that situation, your dog is usually conflicted and torn between two motives of approach or avoid. So for example, maybe your puppy is approaching another dog or a person from a distance and all of a sudden your puppy has a sudden urge to scratch themselves or they start sniffing the floor and wandering off in another direction and completely ignoring you. What your puppy is doing in this situation is likely assessing the situation before they decide what they're going to do next. So do they want to approach or would they prefer to go the other way? And that's what I call a displacement behaviour. So really common displacement behaviours that we see a lot is your scratching, yawning and sniffing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you're wanting more tips on all things puppy and how to train your puppy, then don't forget to subscribe because there's lots more videos coming out over the upcoming months.